Okay, friends, we're going to be talking about value today. Value is how light or dark any color can be. So here I have these dots showing how a color can get darker. And down here, I used a pencil to show how you can shade, which means going back and forth with your pencil and how it can go from light, lighter, darker, darker, darkest. And we're going to do that today with a snowman. For your snowman, you are going to need any sort of cup to trace, scissors to cut it out, a black marker, some colorful markers, you might need a pencil, a glue stick, a white piece of paper to make your snowman, and a colored piece of paper to glue your snowman on. If you don't have colored paper, that's okay. You don't need to cut it out and glue it. You can just make all of the value in the snowman. If you don't have markers, that's okay too. You could use a pencil, a pen, crayons, colored pencils, whichever one you can find around the house. So I'm going to start with my white piece of paper and I'm going to use this cup that I found. This side is smaller than this side. Um, you might want to use it if you have a plastic cup or a roll of masking tape or something that's just round to help you cut out your circles. So I'm going to hold this down and I'm going to use my pencil. Hold this down really tight. Notice how I'm at the bottom of the paper here so I can use as much room as I can. And I'm going to trace it all the way around. You don't want this to slide or you'll mess up your circle. So I'm going to make one. Two. And then I'm going to make the head of my snowman smaller. So I'm going to use the bottom of this cup. And that'll give me a smaller circle. And three. If you aren't able to cut this out, then you do not have to. But if you would like, like I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out these circles. And I'm going to glue them onto my colored piece of paper. Take your time when cutting so that you get a nice circle. What makes it easier for me sometimes is when I'm cutting to cut off the scrap and put it to the side and then it gives me more room to cut along my line. And then my head. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my, oops. piece of paper 
did not mean to zoom in on you guys. But here's my blue piece of paper and I'm gonna glue my circles down to make my snowman. So always lay it out before you glue it to make sure it's in the spot that you want it to be in and that it can fit. Put my glue stick on the back. And glue it down. my head. If your snowman's a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger, that is totally fine. That will also work. So now I have my snowman all together. And before we start doing our value, we are going to draw on the special, special features that we want to add to our snowman. Like maybe the nose, however you want your nose to be. Make a triangle and make a little curved edge. We're gonna use lots of circles today. Circles and dots. So we're gonna make a nice big circle for the eye. Another nice big circle for the eye. And we're gonna color those eyes in. If you want, you can leave a little highlight and then color it all in. Or you could just color all of it in. Now we're gonna add the mouth. Nice spaced out circles for the mouth. One, two, three, four, and I'm gonna add one more right here, five. Color those in. And we're going to add the buttons. You can add as many buttons as you like. I think I'm going to just add three big ones. One, two, three. Now friends, if you are too afraid to mess up, Using a pencil will always be helpful. That way you can always erase. So if I were to be using a pencil right now and making my circles, not coloring them in, but just making my circle in case I mess up, I can always erase it. I cannot erase this marker. So now that I have my buttons, my smile, my nose, my eyes, hmm. I think there's one last thing that I want to add. And this, these are options for you to add. You don't have to. But I think I am going to add a scarf. I'm gonna add one that kind of just goes off to the side. I'm gonna draw a line across so I don't run into the button right here. And draw another line across. If you're using a marker, this might be a good place for you only to be using a pencil. I'm gonna draw my line. And then I'm going to make it so that it looks like it's overlapping. Come over here, come down here below the button. 
over and up. Once again, you don't have to make this scarf. Only if you want to. Add those little tassels, little fringes at the end. And before I get back to my black marker, I'm going to put the cap on and I'm going to use my orange marker and color in my nose so that I know I want it to be nice and orange. Careful when you're coloring so that the black marker doesn't mix with the orange because then it'll look really muddy. So you want to color really nice and carefully. We're not scribbling here. Going very slowly. And I'm going to add some decorations to my scarf. I think I want to make it red. I'm going to add some stripes. Once again, friends, this is all up to you right now. You don't have to color your scarf in if you don't want to. Or you can make different designs and patterns on it. I like this red stripe because it reminds me of a candy cane. And we got to make sure we don't color on top of our button. I'm going to put one little extra line up here because it looks like it's wrapping around his body. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my black marker and I'm going to be showing that value scale. I showed you these two different options of way to show value. We're not going to be doing the shading today. We're going to be doing these dots, which is called stippling. It's a funny word, stippling. And we're just going to be making a bunch of dots to show our value. So to start, we're going to start at the bottom, and we are going to make this part the darkest, only with dots. So we really want it to look similar to this circle right here. So I'm going to start making my dots. This might take a little while. But notice when I press down slowly, the dots are a little bit bigger than if I went really fast. So I'm going to go a little bit more slowly at first and try to get as much covered as I can. But don't go fast. If you go too fast, you'll be making lines on your paper and we don't want lines. We want dots for stippling. Kind of reminds me of a snow globe with the snow falling down. Always want to watch what you're doing and I'm not jamming my marker into my paper that would only ruin it ruin the tip of your marker and then you won't be able to use it again same thing with your crayon or your colored pencil we want to be gentle so that we can keep using our art supplies All of our dots. That looks pretty good to me. I want it to make it a little bit darker because it doesn't look close to this. It looks pretty covered, but it looks more like this one. And I want mine to look more like this one. So I'm going to add some more dots. And all these white spots. I can go a little bit faster now since I already have the, most of the area covered. 
and just keep on filling it in. Be careful not to go off of the snowman because you don't want to get a bunch of dots in the background for no reason. So I'm going to try to get in all that open white space. Careful when you're doing this because the marker might slip out of your hand. And you really don't want that to happen either. I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. Let's see how close we are. It's pretty close, I think. If we need to add more, we can always add more later. So I'm going to go to the middle section. In the middle section, I'm going to start doing the dots like I did before. Just start spreading them out. But notice, I'm not putting them on my scarf and I'm not putting them on my buttons. Because I don't need it there. Need to add some more. But we don't have to add as many to this snowman at all. Notice how I'm getting it in those smaller areas also. Because that's still part of the snowman. It looks pretty good but when I look at that it makes me want to make this part a little bit darker so I'm gonna make it a little bit darker if you think yours looks pretty good then you can leave it just as it is but to me it doesn't look dark enough remember we're not shading not scribbling, we're not making lines, we are just making dots. So now for my head, I don't want to have that many. If we're looking at our value chart here, and we're looking at light, I want to be more like this one, and maybe a little like that one, but more like this one. Depends on how many dots that you made on your snowman. So we are all different. Yours probably does not look exactly like mine, which is fine because we are all our own artists and yours is just as amazing I know a lot of you are probably wondering if you can make eyelashes on your snowman I forgot to mention that earlier yes you can totally add eyelashes to your snowman if that is what you're into I don't feel like adding any eyelashes to this snowman today but I like the amount of dots that I've made I also want to add a couple curved lines to help show the curving of this nose and notice how I'm making the lines a little shorter as I go down to the tip of the carrot now there's one important thing that my snowman is missing and that is arms, my friends. So I'm going to grab my brown.
because brown is very similar to the twigs that we find outside. And I'm gonna start right on the body. You gotta start on the body. And then draw out your arm. I like to add three to mine, but you can add less or more to yours. But it's a branch. Branches are not perfectly straight and they don't have perfect tinier branches coming off of it. So do whatever works best for your snowman. Now, if you'd like to add a hat for your snowman, you can. If you just wanna let yours be, that's something you can do too. So now you guys have learned all about value and showing how you can go from dark to lighter to lightest or from lightest to darker to darkest. Nice job. Please take a picture of it if you can and post it into Google so I can see all these lovely, beautiful works of art. Have a great day.